music is one of the tools of communication in African culture. I don't want to bring argument that there is something like African culture, but there are several cultures. But in general, we can say music is very important tool in communication. Because here in our part of the world, it's not for entertainment only. Music, what we value, is the message. The message to inform and educate. What is more important is the message. And through this element, Lutheran Radio Center has exploited this by having music radio programs and cassette ministry to distribute music accompanied by spiritual and educational programs in recorded cassettes. So far, it hasn't been very good though when we are trying to analyze how technically the programs have been going on because of the equipments we are having. Because if we need good quality of the programs to be aired, and if we need quality for the programs which are going to be listened by the listener through the cassettes, the quality or the technical department which deal with producing this material have to be updated. I tell you, my dear viewers, some of the machines which we're using here before updating were almost my age. I'm 24 years old. When I spoke to head of technical department, he also told me some other reasons why they have update their studio. People say things goes with time. We had a change of equipment in our studio. The old equipment was used for more than 25 years. That was since 1962 when the studio began. In those days, we were mostly involved in producing radio programs for Radio Voice of the Gospel in Addis Ababa, as well as after nationalization, we went to other broadcast stations. Now, this new change uh, gives us a new mixer, a 16-channel unit, plus a new master recorder, Revox PR99, is a semi-professional unit. Plus, there are many good things, as you can see, the new uh, furniture and the wiring. This new change can help us in attracting other outside groups, educational groups, musicians, not musicians, but church choirs, who are going to other studios near and far away for recording. And also, we can record things which we were not able to do with our old equipment. We are also grateful for the funds given to us for this implementation by the LWF donors. Most of our programs are to meet the needs of the people and in many times in filling this goal we go out in the field making research and interviewing people. The reason of doing this is because we don't have library facilities or we don't have archives like many other developed stations. So we have to go out and this helps us a lot because by meeting people 
we know them and in this it helps to produce programs meeting their problems and valuing their cultures. Some old philosophers have argued what is communication. Some said communication is not something straightforward. Communication is a process. Communication doesn't have the beginning nor the end. It's an effective transmission and reception of message. And that's why Lutheran Radio Center value its listeners. In trying to meet this goal of having access to meet our listeners and listeners to use the media, we are facing problems too. And some producers have this to say. Um, the problems I have seen we are facing mostly we producers I will touch here and there some which I, I have recognized. The first uh, problem which I have seen, I think we need more training. Not that we don't have training. All of us producers, we have been to schools, some to school of journalism, some radio production, and so on. And some of our producers have been to school um, some years back about 10 years, some of them. So what they are lacking, I think, they need uh, training. Uh, workshops especially should be arranged to take place time to time so that they can keep up with the current affairs and to be aware of how to produce their um, programs according to our audience. Another problem which I have seen is the problem of um, we have a very big audience which are, are listening to our radio all over the country and we need to go and talk to them to hear the problems, the comments, the opinion about our center and our, prog our programs also. Now the thing is, I don't know whether the budget is enough. I think we need more budget for that purpose, to travel, so that instead of just talking through letters, we have to go and talk to them, find out what, they, what, what, what things do they really need, their needs and talk to them face to face so that we could keep in touch with them. Those are the only problems so far I have seen. to see about the hopes and the future of the Lutheran Radio Center. And our director, Mr. Ellis Songu Macha, has this to say. Well, I think the, the future of the ministry, radio ministry in the church uh, is still bright because um, the radio ministry or radio, as I can say it, it can reach in the village. It is the only media which can go to the level of the, of the, of the people. As far as our country is concerned, there are no, there are no papers which can reach the, the people in the village. So I think the media, the radio ministry is still bright. It will take us 10 years um, time before we can, we can go to, we can think of one, another effective media as the radio. needed for the future is for the Lutheran Radio Center to work close in collaboration with other media to strengthen the welfare 
of the people spiritually and physically.